Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about J-bars, what they do, when you need them, and how to apply them. Now, some of you are saying, my boots came with them. There's Velcro, they attach. Good for you, you got it easy. The rest of us, well, we either had to order ours from tonar.com or shred soles, or make them out of some 3M foam ourselves. I opted to make them myself. You can see it right there. That's me cutting away at them and they're solid. Now, let's talk about what these actually do. These are designed to go in conjunction with your natural J-bars that give you that ankle and heel hold. Now, some people's ankles are a little more narrower than others and the natural J-bar does not work. So by applying more over what you have, you will end up with a snugger fit. So how do you know if you need J-bars? Well, if you've got tiny ankles, like little chicken ankles, you might need it. If when you're in the boot and it's properly sized and you can feel your big toe on the end and you bend forward with your knee over the toe box of the boot, the heel starts to lift a little, just a little, you might need a J-bar. This really rectifies heel lift. It's a very basic fit issue. It's one of those things that you never really have to worry about doing wrong. It's very simple. It's very easy. It takes no effort to get done. Now there is a little trial and error. Some people don't actually have a J bar on their liner. They have to sit down and figure out where it is. That's pretty easy. You put your foot in the liner, you tighten it up around the top, and you see where your ankle bones hit. You want them behind and below the ankle bone, just like that. That way, they will lock in. All right, so now that you've got your J-bars built or you bought them, you need to adhere them to the liner. So how are you gonna do that? Well, it's pretty easy. You're gonna peel the backing off the J-bar, hit it with the heat gun, Preferably on the lower setting, so that way you don't burn yourself, but if you're a glutton for punishment, put it on the high one and melt the hair off your fingers. Because no one likes hairy fingers. I don't know anyone that likes hairy fingers, except Kevin, and Kevin's weird. But that doesn't matter. So once you've peeled the adhesive cover off the back and warmed up the J-bar, you want to make sure that you place it right below and behind your ankle. You're going to push your finger into it and really push it down on the liner allowing it to just become more malleable and push it on there. Once that's done, you can cover them with duct tape, which will allow them to slide in easier to the liner when you're putting them back in. And if you do have issues when you're pushing it in, such as them starting to peel back or anything, this will greatly help it. You can blast the duct tape with a little bit of heat from the heat gun. You don't want to overdo it, otherwise it's going to melt and curl back like it did here in this video. So once you've done these steps, put the liner back inside the boot, tighten it down, and see if you notice a difference in the heel hold. I'm gonna bet that you actually do. And there's nothing wrong with doubling up the J-bars so there's more thickness in there and sucking up more volume to allow you to get that snugger heel hold you're looking for. Yes, you can put more towards the outside or inside of the boot if you need to, if one side isn't gripping as much. Also, just because they're already preformed if you bought them doesn't mean you can't trim them down. Now, after the fact of having it in the boot and you've tried it on and it's snug, but maybe it's creating pressure points, you can go back and trim it. And for that, you just want a little razor knife. That's it. And all you're gonna do is just cut the excess areas out. So let's say it's pushing a little bit lower down here. You just trim that off. You'll peel the duct tape back, you'll cut it, put the duct tape back over, blast it with the heat gun again to get it to adhere, or you'll peel the duct tape off entirely and then put a fresh layer on. I like to just try to keep everything as smooth as possible and then hopefully it doesn't turn into this from ripping the liner inside and out nonstop. This is just obscene right here, but that's what happens when you're trying to extend the lifespan of your boot. All right guys, hopefully you learned a little something more about J-bars and how they work and how they can help you with your boot fit. If they did, leave me a comment. If they didn't and you think I'm wrong, I'm sure you're gonna leave a comment. I'm not even worried about it. And if you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you won't miss any more of our Boot Fitting 101 videos. And 
If you guys really want to support us and the content that we create for you, check out Angry Snowboarder VIP. This boot fitting 101 series was 100% brought to you by the members of Angry Snowboarder VIP. They wanted it, we created it, and you can have a say in the future of the content that we shape. So check it out. I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.